Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, what's up? I'm Savannah and I'm so happy to have you. It would mean so much to me if you would subscribe as well. But in today's video, I'm pretty much gonna be telling you guys how I whiten my teeth at home, but this is kind of more of a review because it was the first time I used this product and it's gonna be a forever product. I absolutely fell in love. So, actually I need to grab it, hold on. All right, sorry about that. But this is the product, so I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing this correctly, but it's called the Luminux Oral Essentials. And I got just the whitening strips, but this also came with a sample of the toothpaste and the mouthwash. So, in this video, I pretty much did seven days in a row of me using the product. So you're supposed to use them seven days in a row, and then after that, just once a week. And doing it once a week is just kind of gonna upkeep the whitening. But as a dental assistant, I love seeing stuff on the market that is really good for your teeth and is not gonna cause sensitivity. And these, literally, I have not experienced any sensitivity at all since using these. It's incredible. I've used tons of different whitenings in the past, and I kind of say this within the video throughout like me using them, but you know, they either taste really bad and it's like almost concerning because you're like, what the heck am I putting into my mouth right now? And also swallowing. Um, and then like as soon as I would put them on sometimes, they would get on my gums and turn my gums white too. So it's like insane and I really don't want to even know what was in the products I was using. But I don't want to make the intro too long because I have seven days in a row of me pretty much showing you guys my results, a few thoughts that I had while using it and all that. So just keep on watching to see how I feel about these things. All right, so it's day one of using the whitening strips. I'm so excited to try them because they're all natural and I have used tons of whitening stuff in the past, but it's like caused extreme sensitivity, which usually I could handle. Like I just like didn't mind it because I was like, well, my teeth are really white, so I don't care. But I'm really excited because they included a toothpaste sample, which is like a huge sample. That's like bigger than a sample and also mouthwash. So I'm excited to use those. Now, before I get started, I wanna say that it's very important to brush your teeth before this, obviously, but not only that, flossing. So brushing your teeth is obviously gonna get the plaque off of your teeth, but if you're not flossing, there's still gonna be a little bit of texture from the plaque in the like in-betweens of your teeth and if that's there then the whitening is not going to be able to get through that to whiten that area so just be sure to brush and floss before you do this so the box comes with 28 strips which is 14 treatments and they recommend doing it seven days in a row and then after that just once a week so let's see if it's legit i'm going to quickly put them on I'm like just not opening it, sorry, bear with me. It says to Oh, so one thing, one package is one set. I was about to open two. Okay, that's good to know. So it has an upper and lower in here. You're gonna leave it on for 30 minutes and then remove and rinse with water or brush. I'll probably brush using the toothpaste because I'm really excited to try it. Also, all of this stuff is all natural and no like chemicals are used so i'm really excited to see if it like actually works here we go i haven't used whitening strips in a long time like i've done whitening but it's like the whitening that's in a tray i am a dental assistant by the way so i'm like i know all about teeth whitening let me tell you and i've always done it in a tray so i'm like really scared i'm going to butcher this let's see so the upper one is the straight one the one on top and then the lower one is this one right here so let me put these on in the mirror really quick i know like a lot of people tell me to like do that to like dry your teeth off so they stick better don't worry i already took a before photo so i'm going to put it somewhere on the screen here so you can see like my teeth on day one and then on day seven whenever we get there all right The uppers are on. My teeth look like I have veneers. <laughs> Love that. Mmm. They taste like really good, not gonna lie. Like really, what? I can't talk with this. Really subtle, coconutty, minty taste. Okay, now the lower. All right. They're both on. 
Well, they like already make my teeth look white. What the heck? Okay, these are really hard to talk in. So I'm gonna come back in 30 minutes and show you guys if I notice anything from the first use. So stay tuned. All right, first of all, this is after one use. Oh my God, they're literally glowing. What the heck? They are so white. So I left them on for the 30 minutes and um, I need to get better at like drying my teeth off before applying them because they were a little folded. But obviously that did not affect the results. I'm pulling my lip down because if you guys didn't know, I had Botox in my chin to like fix these lines and it like totally ruined my smile. So I'm waiting for my smile to go back to normal, but like I can't move my lip down. It's really unfortunate, whatever. So the lowers look really good. Oh my God, you guys, if this is after use one, I'm scared, almost scared to see after day seven because they're gonna be like piercing white, holy crap. And I just brushed my teeth afterwards using their toothpaste, um, but obviously it's like the whitening strips that really, really did it for like the whitening, not the toothpaste, because as soon as I took the whitening strip off, my teeth were like noticeably, noticeably whiter, like not even kidding. I cannot wait to see how much, where did they get? I mean, my teeth weren't really that yellow to begin with because like I said, I've whitened in the past before, but I don't know y'all, these are a game changer. Just wait, just wait until day seven, you guys. All right, sorry guys, I just got out of the shower. That's why I look like this, but I really quickly wanna show you guys how I floss my teeth. I know you're probably like, uh, we know how to floss, but for the purpose of whitening, you really wanna make sure you're going in the C motion, and if you don't know what that is, I'm gonna show you right now. So I'm gonna just do it on my front teeth so you guys can see well. Here we're gonna do it like that, and then also like that. So it's really just like making sure any bit of plaque that might still be on your teeth after brushing, you're making sure you get all of that. But I just wanted to show you that quickly. I've already flossed my teeth, so it's day two now, and I'm gonna go ahead and put the whitening strips on. And you guys are probably gonna call me crazy, but I just got out of the shower, so I have this towel, and what I'm gonna do, this might be gross, but bear with me. I'm gonna like dry off my teeth a little bit to see if I can get the strips to stick a little better. And I'll let you guys know if it works. It probably will, I'd hope. So let me do that quickly. I mean, I brush my teeth so like my mouth's clean, so it's fine, right? Okay, before they get wet again, I need to put these on quick. Oh my God, much better. They went on so much easier. Okay, cool. Now, the bottom. I'm gonna do it again really quick because there's like saliva in my mouth now. Whoa, okay. That worked a lot better. So if you are having a hard time getting them on like because your teeth and your mouth is just like full of saliva, which is normal, <laughs> then maybe try drying them off with a rag, towel. I was considering using a cotton round too, but I didn't know if it was gonna get like cotton everywhere, so I just went with the towel instead, but honestly, you can just use whatever you have and see what works best for you. But once again, I'm gonna leave these on for 30 minutes and then come back and show you guys the results of day two. Sorry about like if I talk weird, like whenever I was drying my teeth off, that's just the reality of this whole entire situation. All right, my timer just went off, but I just wanna say before I take them off, they stayed on so well this time. Like, they didn't fold as much, so I didn't have to mess with them as much as I was waiting. So, definitely try and dry your teeth off as much as possible before putting them on. I just found it was a lot easier, but let me go take these off and then show you guys what they look like today. Once again, I am in awe of how quickly they whiten your teeth. I don't know if you guys can tell from day one to day two, but here's day two. They are literally so white. I'm like freaking out over how white that they're gonna get in the next five days. You know what I'm saying? Cause you do it seven days in a row. And then after that, you just do it once a week, but you can really tell the difference. Also, absolutely no sensitivity at all. I just rinsed my mouth out with super cold water and I did not feel a thing. That's like unheard of with whitening. Like whitening causes so much sensitivity. 
but this is legit. I'm so excited to see what they look like at the end. All right, day three. Wow, I look like a ghost. The lighting's terrible. What's going on? I don't know what to do, whatever. Okay, I know, I said I wasn't gonna do this, but I'm using the cotton round this time to dry my teeth off. And then I'll show you guys. Okay, maybe that is a bad idea. Just kidding, just kidding, oh yeah. Don't do that. There's fuzz in my mouth now. Okay, I'm gonna use my towel, just kidding, don't do that. Don't do what I did. Put them on, show you guys the results in 30. All right, I just took them off. I'm gonna do a little close-up action of day three. They're so white. Now, I can't tell if they're getting whiter or if they're just staying like a set shade of white. I can't tell yet, but every single time I take them off, it almost looks like it's like enhanced, if that makes sense. Another thing that I noticed was, because uh, it says you can either brush your teeth afterwards or rinse them out with water. I started by just brushing my teeth with like no toothpaste to get, because it kind of leaves like a gunky film on your teeth from like the whitening, like it's like a gooey, sticky like gel kind of feeling on your teeth. And I found that rinsing with water helps get it away so much better than brushing. I feel like brushing just kind of like spreads it throughout your mouth. So rinse with water, but this is day three and we'll check in again tomorrow. Day four. Here are the results. Sorry, my face is a little wet. I just also washed off a face mask and I know I look crazy, but um, another thought, I feel like every single day I have a new realization. Luckily, it's another good one. So typically whenever I whiten my teeth, it is the, you know, kind of like professional, like high level, whitening, I don't know what I'm trying to say. It's like the strong whitening that's like really sensitive and it's like just filled with chemicals that who even knows what is in them. And um, I've noticed that it makes my mouth, like the second I put the whitening on my teeth and like the little trays, it makes my mouth water so much to the point where I can't even keep them in like more than 10 minutes because I'm spitting every like 45 seconds because it tastes so bad and it's like I don't know if it's safe to swallow the chemicals that are in that whitening This is crazy because it doesn't really make my mouth water at all. It doesn't taste bad and even if I am Like if my mouth is watering and I need to swallow which this kind of sounds weird I am not like worried about swallowing it because I know that it's a safe product and it doesn't have chemicals in it so if I do swallow it it's not gonna like affect anything so that's really good because I don't want to especially since you have to keep them them in for 30 minutes I don't want to be getting up like every two minutes spitting like that's just not what I want to do so that is a big plus for me because I want to be able to leave them in for the full time recommended and with my other whitenings I've just never been able to do that because I can't stand how much it makes you like salivate so that is a huge plus for me. So once again, day four, they still just look super white. So I'm impressed. All right, sorry, I just washed my face and I look super red because I put on a mask and my skin is just very irritated right now because I've had to wear the same mask for literally three days in a row and my skin is getting really sweaty and oily and it's breaking out. Whatever, that's not what we're here to talk about. This is day five results I'm not sure at this point if you guys can tell if they're getting wider or if they're just staying like pretty much the same shade but each time just a little bit more like enhanced if that makes sense um, I think it'll be easier for me to tell when I go back and watch this video but you guys can look for yourself here's day five they're definitely white though all right guys day six so we're almost done with the full like day seven every day putting them on and then we're gonna transition to once a week. But here is day six. They look so white and I still haven't experienced any type of sensitivity at all. So when they say that there's no sensitivity with these whitening strips, they are so legit about that. Like usually 
I like I said I like would whiten my teeth with other stuff and I couldn't even leave it on the full time because it would even burn my gums and like not only did it taste really bad but it was like burning my gums so bad and like I was already experiencing sensitivity while they were whitening not even afterwards so whitening without sensitivity is such a game changer I am obsessed with it all right so tomorrow will be day seven and then that's kind of when i'm going to wrap up the whole review and then continue to do them once a week all right guys it's finally day seven of using the whitening strips and these are my floor results so i'm super impressed i don't know if you guys can tell but i think they're so much brighter than they were to begin with and i will say i had pretty white teeth in the beginning but this is almost like just highlighter white but here they are i'm so impressed and i think they look so good so now that you guys have kind of seen day one through seven and how i like them i totally recommend these a hundred percent so i kind of said in the video as well that you know my my teeth were pretty white to begin with but more like a muted white almost i'm not even sure if that makes sense like they were white yes but this almost just like enhanced them and made them so much whiter like kind of more like a highlighter white and i didn't experience any sensitivity the taste was amazing it didn't make me drool everywhere like some whitening does like some whitening makes me drool so much that it's like i can't even leave them in for the full amount of time because it's just so frustrating to me and they taste so bad that i'm like i don't want to swallow this because i honestly have no idea what kind of chemicals are in this thing but my overall thoughts are i 100 percent recommend these whitening strips i recommend the toothpaste and the mouthwash as well i think they both taste really really good it's kind of like a coconutty with like a subtle mint taste so i'm really into that but these are my thoughts on this product i am going to be continuing to use it i hope you guys enjoyed this and i hope you guys give them a try and i'll see you guys in my next video bye